Moving on to an example, if f of m is equal to 0 and f of prime m is equal to 8, find the limit as h goes to 0 of f of m plus h all over 4h. So this question is fairly tough. The algebra is going to be very quick, and to solve this question is going to be very quick, but it's just figuring out what to do is pretty tough. So let's see what we're given here. We're given that f of m is equal to 0. Okay, that's pretty standard, so that's not much help to us. And we're also given that f of prime m is equal to 8. So the derivative at an x value of m is equal to 8. Well, we can also rewrite this f of prime m with the definition of a derivative. So it would be the limit as h goes to 0 f of that m value plus h minus f of m and then this is all over h. And now if you notice with this expression we're starting to get a little bit closer to what we have to find. We have this f of m plus h in the numerator as we do here we have an h in the denominator but the problem is, is over here we have a 4 in the denominator, and over here we have this f of m in the numerator, and over there we don't. But we know that f of m is equal to 0. That's given in the question. So we know that this portion is equal to 0. So we can rewrite this as the limit as h goes to 0 of f of m plus h all over h. And because this represents the derivative, f of prime m, we know that f of prime m is equal to 8. So we know that this whole expression here is equal to 8. And now we can use this expression to find this limit here. So now rewriting what we have to find, this limit as h goes to 0 of f of m plus h all over 4h, notice how this 4 in the denominator we can take out as a constant. Because we know with the property of limits that the limit as x approaches a value of a constant k times a function, we can take that k out and then just find the limit as x approaches a of that remaining function in the limit. So same thing here. This 4 is sort of like we're taking this limit and multiplying it by 1 over 4. So there's like a 1 in the numerator and then this 4 in the denominator. So we would take out a 1 over 4 and we'd have the limit as h goes to 0 of f of m plus h all over h. And if you notice, this square bracket here is exactly what we found here. We know that that is equal to 8. The limit as h goes to 0 of f of m plus h all over h is the exact same expression as we have in the square bracket here. And that's equal to 8. So we know that this square bracket here is equal to 8. 1 over 4 times h just gives us 2. So that there is our final answer for the limit as h approaches 0 of f of m plus h all over 4h, given that f of m is equal to 0 and f of prime m is equal to 8. So again, algebra was pretty simple, but it's just recognizing that you have to take that f of prime m, show it through the definition of a derivative, and then that f of m is going to go to 0, and then that remaining expression is going to equal 8, and then you plug in that remaining expression after you uh, use the uh, properties of limits to take that constant of 1 over 4 out, and you get that final answer of 2. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.